Hello and welcome to another episode from me, The Code Pilot. In this episode, we're going to be looking at adapting the script that we made last time, which was a basic jumping, wasn't it? It was like a robotic up and then down, a very constant manner. But what we're going to do with this one is we're going to change it, adapt it into a sort of gravity energy type drum jump. You know, real life kind of thing. You jump up it in the air, you go fast, and then gravity gets hold of you and then you fall down. Uh, you speed up and then you hit the ground. That's the sort of thing we're going to be doing in this episode. Um, it, it involves using a list of values that we're going to use to uh, affect the value of our Y coordinate. In the previous script, what we did was the Y value always stayed the same and then we'd draw our circle as an offset from that value. So if we, if we had a jump height of 50, then we'd see the jump um, that go from uh, the offset go from zero to fifty, and then would it, would adjust the the drawing of the circle around that. Um, so this one uses uh, an array, as I just said. And um, what we're gonna what I'll do is I'll put that array in first, because then I can explain what it's gonna what it looks like and what it's gonna do. So I'm gonna just copy it from um, this what this text file that I've got open already, and we're gonna overwrite jump height. So if you've got your um, jumping script open already. That's great. So here we go. I've copied that in now in, into there now. There is a, a much easier way of writing this list. If I was to do it by hand, it would take me forever and we'll all be dead by the time I finished. But in this one, there is another way of doing it by using a for loop and that uh, that creates that list. I'll put that in the I'll put that in the comments section uh, for you to copy and paste into just to save you messing around copying all this rubbish down. So the velocity is a list with um, with uh, floating point numbers in it. It starts at minus uh, 7.5 and the number uh, decreases by uh, 0 0.5 each time. And what we do is we have a an index uh, a pointer so that let's say it starts at zero, the pointer starts at zero and we use that value there then to manipulate the y coordinate. So if we add minus 7.5 to our uh, y coordinate then the y coordinate decreases in value. So if it was uh, 360, which is in the center of the screen, we, mi we minus uh, seven, seven uh, and a half, then we add minus seven and a half, uh, then we get 352.5. So then, as you can see, we go up in the screen and we move the, we move the index pointer onto the next value, which is minus seven. Just uh, come and look over to, uh, to this with me and I'll show you what I, exactly what I mean. So here, um, our index is, oops, I'm just wrong pen, uh, our index is zero. So if we, if we deduct that from 360, then as I said before, we've got 352.5. So that puts us then at, uh, at here on the, from our platform. So if this is our, plat this black line here is our platform, then we increment the uh, the index pointer to minus seven, and then we deduct that. That's 30, 30, 345.5, 345.5, so here. And then we move it on to the next one. And that's 339, 333, uh, 327.5, no, yeah. Uh, 322.5, well, that's a coincidence, uh, 318, no, silly, silly, 318, 314, brilliant, 310.5, and as you'll see that uh, our Y coordinate decreases by in value each time. There we go, 5, 3, 1, and 300. So as you can see, we go up, we start off fast, and then as we get towards our maximum velocity, we stop, or the minimum velocity rather, we stop, and then we're here at this index point here. So we're adding no more, but we need to then come back down again. Gravity takes over, doesn't it? So we start to come downwards. So we add positive values so that, um, 300 plus 0 0.5 is 300, uh, 300, 300.5. And then we come downwards and come downwards. And by the time we get here, 
theoretically, we should be back on the platform. Now, if the platform's not there, then we continue to fall at this velocity here. Um, for example, if I was to have a platform here and the ball was to jump off down here, then at this point, the velocity is zero. At this point, the velocity is 7.5. And remember our Y coordinates zero to uh, uh, 720 on the display surface. So, and then by the time we get here, that is also 7.5 because we can't go past this value here. There isn't an eight, there isn't an 8.5. It stops as soon as we get there. Now, let's go back onto the script and then we can, uh, we can update our player class. So like I say, we're not using jump offset anymore. That's going. Get rid of that. We're also going to add in a little uh, platform uh, value. Now we could use we could use uh, the center of the screen, but we actually want to define that value because we're changing y. We need to we need a value to check to see if we've actually hit a platform or not. So that's what we're using py for in the parameters. But we also need to save that into our player instance. So we shall call it platform y. There we go, predictable. I've got no coffee today. It's gone. I've drank it. So I'm just going to have to struggle through this. Bear with me. Sell, uh, self platform y is y. Also, like I said, we need that index, don't we, to look up the velocity list. So self uh, velocity index equals zero. I'll start from uh, from our resting point. The velocity index should always be zero because we need to start with energy uh, up into the air. Um, we start with adding minus 7.5 and then working our way to zero, don't we? So that's that. Um, also, when we press escape, all we're bothered about now is whether we are jumping or not. So if we are jumping, um, and oh, sorry, if we're not jumping and we press the space bar, then we set we set jumping to true. We're not bothered about the whether the offset is at zero or not. So we'll get rid of that. Well, because because there is no offset anymore. Okay, so now that's the values that we need in to initialize the player instance. Let's define our do jump routine. No, not that one. Do self. Um, I was just copying it from here. Uh, we don't use, we're not going to use that anymore because we're actually moving it into the player class. That just keeps it all nice and tidy. And we're going to create an all-encompassing all player class. We're going to do the do jump and we're going to do the drawing and then we're going to do a routine that does them both together. Nice and nice and tidy. So um, because we've defined the velocity list outside of the uh, player class, we're going to have to bring it in. So we need to define it globally. So that's that global. Uh, velocity yeah and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this whoops don't need that I'm just gonna copy this list bring it over here because there's a couple of times when I need to reference it and I don't want to, have to keep going down to the bottom of the page to show you what I'm doing like that that'll do okay so what we, we need to check now to see if the player has pressed the space bar and, and is in the process of jumping. So if self jumping equal, oh, we don't need to define it as being, but we don't need to ask whether it's true or false because we just want to know if it's true. Okay, so if self jumping equals true, um, then we need to affect the y coordinate. So self y plus equals, we need to get that velocity out of the uh, velocity list so we go into the velocity and then we take that value at our index number so just like that so self velocity index um and in the first in the first instance the uh, velocity index is zero so we take 
that's zero. So we get look up uh, zero in our velocity list, and then we grab that and we, t and we adjust the self y, the y coordinate, by minus 7.5. And now we need to increment the velocity index, don't we? Because we need to then move on to the next value. So uh, self velocity index plus equals one. Now we know that there's only a limited amount of numbers, um, no values in our uh, velocity list. So we need to get to a point where we can say, stop, don't go anymore, because 7.5 is the maximum velo falling velocity, isn't it? So if we were to say, if say, let's say there are 20 values in this list, if we were to go to 21, then it would throw an error and say, hey, come on, you have not entered that many values in this list. So we need to say, we need to stop at that point. So if self velocity index is greater or equal than the length of our velocity list, minus one and i'll tell you why we do minus one in a minute self velocity index equals len velocity where what's that velocity minus one so yeah let's go back to this minus one when we use when we ask for the number of elements the length of an of a list it returns the number of elements in that list. So if if there are 20 elements in here, then it will return 20. Now we know that the index, the first index of a list is zero. And in this instance, then the last one, the last index of uh, the last element in the list will have an uh, will have an index of 19. So if len returns 20, then we're going to be stuffed, aren't we? Because we can't act, we can't access index number 20 because it doesn't exist so that's why we minus one to get the last index number of our list okie dokie so if self uh, if self uh, why yes okay so now what we're going to do sorry about that i had a bit of a mind fart if self y is then greater than the self y platform y, self y equals self platform y. Bah, silly. Right, so what's happened there is because we're, we're because we're dynamically changing y. We've got no way of checking to see, uh, or to, to find which point we need to stop. So we use the platform Y to say, well, if Y is greater than this platform Y, then surely that must be the point in where we stop. So if, if we're greater than the platform Y, then we say, okay, we'll stop there and we'll give Y, um, we'll give the Y value this platform value, the, the, co the, the Y coordinate of the platform. And we also need to say, no more jumping. And also reset the velocity index, ready to be able to jump again. Wah, boing. So that's the uh, do jump. That should be everything that we need to, to, th to process the jumping um, routine. Now we need to create the drawing routine. So this is this is fairly simple. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, there's a couple of globals that we need to bring in: the the, the display surface, the, um, the color, and the fill, solid fill. There we go. And we do high game draw circle. Display surface white. Now it's important to remember when you're using draw functions in Pygame that the x and the y values have to be integers. They can't be a floating point number. They can't be a decimal. They have to be a whole number. And the reason why our y, x, and y coordinates aren't 
um, decimals uh, and uh, integers is because we're adding floating point numbers. So that automatically makes them floating points. So what we need to do is we need to change them to integers. So we use this function called int, which is that, and then we pass the, the x to it, and then int self y, and that gives us whole numbers. And the reason why we're doing, we're calling, uh, putting, we're converting uh, x to an int is because just in case in the future we want to use the x value to uh, move left and right around the screen and add floating point numbers to it and what have you. It just future proofs it for later. Uh, then we need to define the uh, radius with the size and then solid fill. Bah, bah. Close that. And that's the draw function done. Dead easy, isn't it? So now we need to create a routine that does both of those activities, the jump and the draw in one. So uh, self do jump, self draw. And that just keeps everything nice and tidy, doesn't it? Now let's go down to our uh, keys. I've done that. We've got that sorted out. Everything's looking good. We don't need this because that's defined within the uh, player class now, isn't it? So, in order to in order to um, do the jumping and drawing, we need to just do that. The drawing is within the class now, isn't it? So that's okay. And if p jump offset is equal to zero, we don't have any offset anymore, do we? So how do we detect see if the um, to see if we should be red or white? So red. Oh no. Um, if p is equal jumping, yeah. So if p is jumping, then draw a. If p jumping, draw a white one. If not jumping, a red one. No. That needs to be the round. If not jumping, draw a white one. Yeah. So we'll now save the script and run it and see what happens. Ah. Oh. Right, so uh, let's have a look what it says here. So it's got an error. P play oh yeah. When we defined the uh, instance of uh, the player class, we didn't, well I didn't, sorry, not you. <laughs> uh, I didn't put in the, the new platform. And we're gonna have it in halfway in the screen. Um, now, when we draw the platform, obviously it's going to be in, in the middle of the screen anyway. So this is basically just for uh, checking it doesn't it doesn't draw a platform at this level it's just merely for checking where we should stop falling okay so let's give that a run oh we've got something uh, now then let's press the space bar and see what happens you ready oh Bit of a delay there, a bit jerky, wasn't it? Shouldn't be like that. Oh, there we go. Whee! I don't know why it's bonk. I don't know why it's like that. Look at that. Did that last time as well. Anyway, uh, that's the that's the end of this tutorial. And if you look at the, it jumps, it slows down, and then comes back down again. Exactly how we wanted to achieve it. So, brilliant. Excellent. Um, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you next time. Please leave any comments, um, whether it's good or bad, if you've got a criticism, you've got a question, anything like that, please write it down and I'll try my best to get back to you. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.